Uh, so this question is longer is nice substring. So given the shunets, so the S contain your appears both and uh, uppercase and lowercase letter. So you have to return the longest substring of S such that I mean it's a nice substring. So just for example, A A B A A sorry A B A B B right. So A, a capital A and lowercase A appear in the substring, and capital B, lowercase B appear in the substring. So this is con you know consider a nice substring. However, this is not because you have lowercase B but you don't have capital B, right? So the idea is straightforward. So what we need to do is we need to put all the characters into the set. So including the uppercase, lowercase. Alright, so next one is going to be consider how you traverse, right? So we need to traverse based on the index. So based on the index, if i equal to starting from i equal to 0 all the way to length. And then we need to compare does the current char, char, you know, the lo lowercase char, lowercase char in the set, and also uppercase uppercase in the set so we need to consider this so if they are both in the set we don't worry about this this is because if everything you know if every scenario has been checked you know we return the s which is what what we traverse right and then if not then we need to consider two scenario so just imagine that the current chart the current chart does not you know, does not pass the if statement, right? So we we have index, right? So we're going to check the you know the pre and post. So let's just say pre. So pre equal to what? I'm I'm call, calling myself. So it's going to be longer as uh, nice substring, nice substring. So I'm calling myself, and I need to substring myself from zero to current i. And this is post. I'm going to say exactly as I said, longest nice substring. And I'm, I'm substring myself and I'm from i plus one. Alright, so this is actually a trick because if you can actually find there's a nice substring which return true, okay, then you will, you know, I mean, it's not return true, it's return the length. Then you want to compare the length, right? Uh, pre pre and post pre and post. So which one is longer? Then you would just need to return, right? So it will be hard to you know um, just draw on the paper. So let's just stop coding. So here we go. So I'm gonna say uh, if s dot length less than two, I will just return what an empty string right this is because you need to contain lowercase and uppercase if you know if you don't have lowercase and uppercase you'll return empty string like example C All right so I need to create a hash set and I need to traverse for Charles C S dot to char array S dot you know set dot SC so this is pretty much what I need to do, and I need to traverse based on the string S. So if the setup contains, you know, the uppercase, I'm going to just say char C equal to S dot char A A I. So I can say character uh, to upper case C. And you know, set up contains and you know, to lower to lower case. If, if everything you know, you know, uh, you can find it in the set, we continue. This is because if we you know break out the for loop, we can actually, actually just return s, right? So that will be the original string, right? And if not, then I will, I will have pre. Pre represent what? Longest nice substring 
Okay, so starting from 0 to i, right? And I have, you know, post equal to longer substring, s a substring from i plus 1. And then I will just have to return, because I know that this doesn't pass, right? So there, there must be a, you know, character at a current char doesn't, you know, doesn't consider a nice substring. So I would consider the the one, you know, the current index uh, beforehand and then the current index afterward. Then I would just say if uh, pre dot length greater than post dot length, I would return pre, else I would return post. So, you know, you can rewrite this to what? Uh, turn pre dot length greater or equal to, you know, post dot length. And then you return what? Pre post if else statement. So, oh, this is return. Alright, so, you know, it should be straightforward enough. And yes, so let's run it. Submit. Alright, so here's the solution. So let's talk about time and space. This is, you know, sorry, this is space. All of n un represent string s. Length of length of string s. This is time. All of n. This is the for loop. Consider what this is all of n. Then you will take another you know the recursion. So imagine you you have what a something a right. So you don't have you know capital capital you know character so you keep you know keep substring until the end so this will take all of n times all of n so it's going to be n squared so let so this is the worst case the average case is going to be what a log n right you always cut into the half imagine cut into the middle right all right so uh this is a little bit difficult for sure right so I'll see you next time, bye.